Hey team, and welcome to our next unit, striking with short handle implements. So we're gonna be using rackets for this week. If you look at it, there's several parts of the racket that we need to be concerned with. One is the face, the part that we strike with. The next one is the throat, which connects these two parts. And last is the handle, which is short, like we discussed. We're gonna be talking about the grip, shaking hands with it, like as if you were shaking hands with a person. And the other two things we're going to be concerned with is the forehand and backhand strikes, all done with a short handled implement. Good luck. Forehand taps and backhand taps. So the first thing we have to do is we have to learn how to hold or grip our racket. So an easy way to remember is if you are shaking hands. So if I have one face facing the camera of my racket and the other face facing the wall, I'm going to pretend like I am shaking hands with the racket. Notice how my thumb is towards the ceiling. And this leads us into our forehand. So if I'm gonna do my forehand taps, I'm gonna have one face of our racket upwards and one face downwards. My thumb is still at or pointing towards the ceiling. And then from here, I'm just gonna do some light controlled taps. Should keep it a little closer. Notice how I'm not bending my wrist, I'm just using my arm to tap the balloon in the air. I am keeping the face of my racket flat, and I am keeping it about chest to belly level, not going too high or hitting it too hard. This brings us then to the backhand. So if my forehand, my thumb is on top or facing the ceiling, backhand, I'm just gonna turn it over and my thumb would be towards the floor. All right, forehand towards the ceiling, backhand towards the floor. Everything else stays the same. My face still remains flat. I'm still chest to belly level. And I'm just using my arm to make nice controlled taps without breaking or bending my wrist. So I'm just using my arm and nice and controlled. I should be able to do that all day. Thank you. Have a nice day, everyone.